Actually, this contest is set for one fall. It's for the Chocolate City Championship. Thank you to Fight Club Pro Wrestling for allowing us to have this contest. Introducing first the challenger, to my right, decked out in the defenders, red and white. From Dover, Delaware, he is big time, Rob Ratke! And now introducing the champion to my You saw see it. To my left, he is the Chocolate City champion hailing from Brooklyn, New York. He is the first in the 51st. Christopher and Dino. started here special thanks to fight club Club. the chocolate city championship is on the line the reigning defending dominant champion christopher andino against big time rob rat yeah we got two big boys in this match and rob is looking determined right now used to the guild Dino. Does not seem bothered by by the crowd support for Rob. Mind games right here. He's held that championship for so long. The crowd fully behind the Crawler Crusader, Rob Radke. Ooh, right into the headlock. He's one of the smartest wrestlers I know. I mean, we've seen Andino be pretty smart himself now. That is with breaking some rules to get some advantages, but. Many of the rules to keep the chocolate city championship. Many, if not all. Drop down. Andino gets out. Throws. Big time! Oh. I don't know if Andino was ready for that. What were you That's thinking, Andino? You had a run That's a. That is a bullet coming right to the chest of the champion. Rob giving Andino time to recover, though, but <laughs> just let him back up, knock him back down. You know, taking his time getting up, he is the champion. Oh. Looks like Rob's trying to hang on, able to keep a hold of that arm. And Andino does have the size advantage, so keeping him on the mat is in Rob's favor. Rob is a huge man to change up this style from a typical new age cruiserweight style to this big, thoroughly man that we see here. Andino, just that cunning nature. Oh, an eye poke! 
just right to the eyes. We have this. We have this big title match. It seems like referee Gordo is gonna give him some slack here. Bob's opportunity over a simple eye poke. And then Dino's full control. Gonna pick him up. Scoops Ooh, him. trying to get him up on the shoulder now. Stay guys! Rolls the dice! Big Lariat! Rob might be out. He came down hard on that turnbuckle. That was intense. No, he's able to kick out. Big time. Finding some strength. This is a huge opportunity for Rob Radke. If he can take away Andino's championship, he's held that belt for the better part of a year, Skiff. No one has taken it off of him. He's now at the self proclaimed Pan African World Champion. And right now he's just choking Rob. Like this is how Andino gets his way. Is that very, very methodical pace? Ooh, he's creating some distance. I don't know if this is his game. Over. But Andino landed on his feet, able to hit the shoulder tackle. Rolls over. Okay. Pressing from the big man. Rob catches, swinging neckbreaker! Rob able to maneuver himself to the center of the ring. And Dino was trying to show off with some of his athletic ability and it's not his specialty and it cost him there. Oh, it's time to play the game. And then Dino has all the cheat codes in the book. Rob is defenseless. Oh, he's calling for it. Let's see a, a power bomb holding him up there. Sit down, power bomb. Rob kicks out, and Dino lifted Rob higher in the air instead of just going down with the momentum. Lifted Rob into the air to add the impact on that power bomb, but it was not enough. Not the champion, Rob. First to strike. That move might have taken a lot out of Andino. That's a big man to pull up. That was a 12 6 elbow to the back of the head right there. Letting it go. Pump handle applied. He's got it hooked. Up to the shoulder. Explosion! Oh, that's it. That is it. Good night, big time. No! And Dino did not cover Rob's right shoulder, and Rob was able to somehow kick out of it. I don't even know if he's aware that he kicked out of it. He doesn't look all there right now. No, oh, and Dino tried to, tried to find something with Ben of just pulling out every trick in the book. Rob, keep coming up. The man is not giving up. Shut up. What else does Andino need to do to keep him down? Rob is a man who has been through so much diversity in his life, in his career, that I think the last thing he's going to do is throw away an opportunity to dethrone the Chocolate City champion. But Andino's just knocking him back down with these strikes. Rob's still coming back, but how much more does Rob have left? The crowd getting behind, off the rope, suddenly dropped! And Rob left his feet as well to put all of his weight into that Samoan drop. Back up, oh! Rob's gonna start firing! Straight punch right there. One of the best punches in the business, capture Soupy! Beautiful, hoist him over! And Rob's back. The fingers are raised. He's pumping it out. He's gonna go. He's gonna look for that pump kick. He has it. Drive by. And Dino's still not down. 
One more. Oh, one more will do it. Right on the jaw, but. One more. One more time. <sighs> he looks out, Rob. This might be a downfall. Ball kick. Straight to the Three. Three. Oh, my goodness gracious. And if you don't have a championship for as long as Antino has held the Chocolate City Championship, if you don't have that ring awareness, are we gonna see it? Rob's going up top. Put away many of men with this. But he doesn't see Andino's getting up to his feet as well. Properly position Andino. Big time. Whoa! Andino caught him with a cutter! Caught him in the midair. A director's cut, if you will. Let's pack it! DDT just throws him! Five, Rob's out! Two, three, America got it. Your winner by pinfall and still the Chocolate City Champion! And Dino!